Welcome back to Bros and Shows. We're on season three, episode fifteen, and holy shit, we're on fifteen already. Yeah, yeah, we're on we're double on episode. It 15 is. and sixteen. Let's go. I know. I'm excited for this one because we're gonna finally see all the mayhem unfold, dude, and just like see who's gonna die, who's gonna live, what's gonna happen. Like, are they gonna be able to stay at the prison, or it's gonna be so bad where they're gonna have to leave? Or yeah, I mean it's. Like you said in the last episode, it's going to be like all that war coming. Yeah. You know, um, season three has been the buildup of like, let's get to the prison. Um, meet the governor, meet Woodbury, all that nonsense. Yeah. Kind of follow Andrea's story. At the same time, we follow Michonne's story and watch as they, because they spent the whole winter together and now they're taking totally separate paths, right? Like Andrea chose to stay at Woodbury, Michonne chose the prison. And I think it just mm-hmm. comes down to like... Michonne's just like we said a better judge of character yeah she sees that the people in the prison our group are real yeah they're not claiming to be a governor or doing shady shit or killing a bunch of military people behind the scenes yeah. and claiming to be for the greater good and all this and she just saw right through the governor's bullshit which is a breath of fresh air because it is <laughs> all bullshit but she got captured and now she's in the chair that she was fearing the most so. well I was talking about Michonne but yeah Andrea, oh, yeah, 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 but right, Andrea right. got captured yes and now, yeah, she's in the torture chair. Yeah, Michonne would have gone there, but Andrea beat her. <laughs> Andrea tried. She saw the light. You know, she came back. She was like, screw this. Tyrese kind of let her escape. Um, she definitely saw the light, but the governor just out her. There was that one point in the last episode where she lured him into that hallway. I thought... I thought was, she was going to get him with that one, but I was like, you didn't see a dead body or him getting eaten, so there's a chance he got away. And sure enough, he got away. Um, one thing that I will mention, just because, like, I know people don't like to point out the inconsistencies or things that are just bullshit, Yeah. but it actually really took me out of the experience in episode 14 when Andrea walked into that room with, like, the staircase <laughs> yeah. and the zombies. She, so, guys, come on. I mean, seriously, like, she walks into the room, she sees all the zombies, they, they turn and look at her. She shuts the door. And then a good 30 seconds go by. Yeah. Where the governor, like, finds her and starts to intimidate her. And then she walks through the door and goes to the other side. And in that entire time that they had their little standoff, the zombies didn't clamber down the stairs and then reach through the broken glass. The broken glass. Yeah, it's like they would have been grabbing her by now. It, if, even if they weren't trying to grab at her, they would have been... Right behind the door. Oh, yeah. She would not have been able to open the door and go behind it. I get it. It was a good moment. Like, it paid off because it looked cool, and it was like, oh, that was slick. But when you when you film that, you have to, like... You should have snuck ha- in and be like, oh, shit. Exactly. Then- exactly. You have, to, you have to stay abiding by the rules of the universe that you created. And zombies have been alerted by less. <laughs> they've, they've come out and been like... Freaking out, trying to get you for less. I mean, I, it just totally took They're me out. They're ninjas half the time. They just pop saying. up out of nowhere. I just don't like that kind of stuff, so I had <laughs> to bring it up. I'm never gonna let it slide when something dumb happens. I'm always gonna mention it. I know people are gonna hate on me for it, but I don't care. I just have to say it. You know, it doesn't mean I don't love the show because I do. But that was bullshit. <laughs> it's just like, and I still like. How the fuck did you get out of? Get all those dudes because he ran out of ammo or is he just stabbing them in the head or did he run for it like because he was like surrounded at that one point and they were like grabbing onto him when they panned off of him you it's know what I mean it's plot armor <laughs> <laughs> you know um and it's fine like it's The Walking Dead it's a TV show I can suspend my disbelief but this this is our channel we, <laughs> we talk about we talk about TV shows for better or worse yep doesn't mean we don't love the show still. It's a great show. But I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up every time I hate something. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna get into this double episode, 15, 16? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Let's ride. You ready, gang? <laughs> way. What's the answer? No one else knows. We don't tell them. Not till after. Oh, they told Daryl about the Michonne deal. Yeah. We need someone. Merle, I, I was just complimenting Rick on how smart he is for seeing through the governor 
and saying that he'll kill him anyways. And now he's. Wouldn't it be funny though if Merle's the voice of reason here, just like you're an idiot. He's gonna just kill us, right? I would hope gets... so, right? Yeah, because that's what I know he'd ask me to do. What's he doing? Oh, he's looking for drugs. Best dope I ever had was in a mattress. Hey, you're fiending that hard, huh? This place must have been no fun at all. (laughs) (laughs) We give the governor a song. We bury stands down. I don't like it, but it's what needs to be done. We need to make it quiet. We need your help with that. You know... When you go out on runs, you bash somebody's skull, slash somebody's throat, and they say, never waste the bullets. And I always thought it was just an excuse. You're cold as ice, Officer Friendly. Damn, dude, I love that. <laughs> you gonna need wire, not a rope. He's like, I'll do it, though. <laughs> yeah. We need to get it to the governor by noon. Try to drive up to the gate again. Maybe some blown tires will stop him. Good idea. Let him show us. We don't have to win. We just have to make their getting at us more trouble than it's worth. Let's go. It's just amazing what propaganda can do. Oh, yeah. Because the governor's got Woodbury thinking that it's like a prison full of ex-cons and terrible people when it's like 12 people just trying to survive. You got any whiskey? (laughs) Hell, I'd even drink vodka. No, Merle. (laughs) Are you with us? Oof. I'm here for my brother. At least he's honest. We don't seem scared of nothing anymore. I'm not. You're a late bloomer. Maybe you are too. Ooh, Ooh. Carol, love it. So when I did the poll for like the MVP of season three, a few people commented, Glenn, how? I don't know, yeah. If anything, he's been pissing me off this whole season. I'm gonna make him. There's gotta be a way. You guide me to a chair. Beat me. And do a walker in the row. Maybe I could call it even. But he... He took Maggie to a man who terrorized her. Humiliated her. I care more about her than I care about me. Yeah. Solid points. I mean, Merle's definitely the one who needs to be... Yeah. Saying sorry, not Daryl for Merle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So until Merle gives an apology, I I agree with Glenn 100. percent Hey, little brother. What the hell? I was just about to haul back at you. What you doing down here? Yeah, just looking for a little uh, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Uh, you know that. Yeah. Does he does. Do you want him to? Yes. Whatever he says goes. Y'all people look at me like I'm the devil. Grabbing up those love birds like that, huh? Now y'all want to do the same damn thing I did. Snatch someone up and deliver them to the governor. Fair. Just yeah. Me. Can't do things without people anymore, man. Maybe these people need somebody like me, right? Huh? Do their dirty work. I just want my brother back. Oh, you hear me? <laughs> Touch my shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that 
would fly by day, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Fuck, man, come on. At thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Oh. <laughs> what you're about to do, I can't. Yes. I won't. All right. Let's go, Rick. Yeah. Take the moral high ground. It's my boy, Rick. Ah. He's going ahead with it. No, dude, no. He's going ahead with it. Fuck! I forgot all about this shit, man. <sighs> well, Rick should have gone immediately to him. Well, she's gonna have trust issues now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, she'll probably wake up and think it's just Merle doing it. Yeah. But if he spills the beans. Because he doesn't know that Rick had a change of heart. Yeah. So if he spills the beans, then it is what it is. Oh, spilling the beans. I agree with you, though. He would have blinked. But not you. You know what? I figured you would have run. Wanted my sword back before I get away. <laughs> she's sassy. I love it. And even though she's in this situation, she's still she's still Michonne. Yeah. So he's got an M4, a pistol, and a katana, and a hand blade. Yeah. Hard to, hard to get rid of him or hard to get away from him. And then he had like the fingers tied saw together, that. so you can't just grab a gun or anything. Smart. Talk about the weight of what you have to do. How you can handle it. A bad man. Someone truly evil. You're light as a feather. You don't feel a thing. Killed 16 men since all those went down. She's trying to, like, appeal to the human inside him, though. I like that. Yeah. Let's go. Oof, oh, that's, 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 like, yeah, that's a good amount of walkers. I want to marry Maggie. Aw. No. Oh, we don't Glenn. have to have a wedding. I don't even know if we'll have to leave. But I want her to know. You have my blessing. Not good at all. Oh, didn't think that one through, buddy. Yeah! Yeah! Damn, Merle would have just screwed up right there if she wasn't skilled. Oh, look at her. Look at her go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Stressed. She's so right. Yeah. She's so right. He could have been so useful. To stay on the outside. You killed 
keep trying to get under my skin. I'm gonna cut that tongue out. Your buddy's uh, turning you over because he's trying to save his own ass. I think he's looking for a wedding ring. Oh, true. Yeah. But, like, I don't understand why they're not taking stab, care of you. Yeah, stab. Like, yeah. I really don't understand. You ever kill anyone before? No. Then how about before Woodbury? Why would you kill somebody else, Brad? We can just go back. Come on, Merle. Ice. I can't go back. Don't you understand that? I can't. go back with him get ready for what's next why don't you go with her merle oh man you think he's going to the solo revenge yeah mission? he's probably gonna try to go kill him you know new respect for you buddy absolutely god this is such a good show every character has so many layers yeah just like real people yeah you know? exactly it's like enough to make me emotional like merle is so conflicted but he's a good person deep down yeah he just like she said all the right things. Absolutely. Man. You kill him? It would have been justified if she did. Yeah. He let me go. Don't let anyone come after you. <laughs> <laughs> and he just gets a kick out yeah. of it, dude. He's so funny. Oh, is he gonna herd them over? I think that's what he's doing. That's, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Muting this song for copyright purposes, but we're gonna bring it to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is where they all met up. This is where they had their talk. <gasps> Genius! What are they all doing here? Oh, they're probably waiting for you. Remember, they're gonna. Oh, duh. Oh yeah, two days. Noon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Damn, dude. Oh man. That's right. Use the chaos. This is huge. It makes them waste ammo, and he's gonna take Ooh, a bunch of Oh, well, there's gunshots yeah. are going off. They won't be able to hear it. Oh, and then they're gonna eat him. That's perfect. And he's taking away a lot of their fighters. Yep. Yeah! Oh. Goodbye! Please kill Do me. it! Do it! Oh yeah! Fuck that guy! Oh damn, they got his ass. Damn it! Damn. There goes Merle. We're not going to get down on one knee. <laughs> when I met with the governor, he offered me a deal. He said... He said he would leave us alone if I gave him a show. I changed my mind. And now Merle took Michonne to fulfill the deal and Daryl went to stop him and I don't know if it's too late. What I said last year, that first night after the farm, it can't be like that. So, yeah, the rictatorship has to end. I can sacrifice one of us for the greater good because because we are the greater good. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Not me. I'm not your governor. We choose to 
Mexico, we choose to stay. You gonna see me showing walking back? Yeah! All right. Oh no. Oh buddy. Oh no. You got to do it, dude. man I feel for Daryl so hard I mean ugh. I just don't think he expected today to be the last day he sees his brother alive earlier yeah. when they talked in that room I don't think anyone really expects it you know fuck ugh. all right well let's just get right into the next one folks Milton. Oh, yeah, I forgot Milton. about Milton. That's what you meant, Evan. Did you burn him up? You know, my man died. Fuck him and fuck you. Smell the gunpowder and see the blood. You know what that means? It means you're alive. You won. Get those tools. I'm not gonna need him anymore. Careful. Pick that up. Come on. Step two. Let's go. Left one for her. Milton's a good dude. He's turned around in my book for sure. The comments said that we're going to see that orange backpack from that guy that got killed on the road throughout the rest of the show. No shit. Like, so, like, keep an eye out for the orange backpack because it's going to show up all the time. Go. We're ready. Did the other governor offer to help me? He had to think about it. Damn. Yeah. Man, she really is so understanding. She's a great character. No. He was called and made the call. He said you belong here. All right. Mm -hmm. She's officially a member, dude. They're no different than the fires. And they're not going to stop until they kill us all. Take it. Everything we've worked so hard for. We're going to end this. Once and for all, Governor, you're gonna have to count us out. This isn't our fight. Oh, this makes me nervous. The fighters, not other people. We'll stay here and defend the children. When you return, if you want us gone, no hard feelings. Uh oh. Oof. So he still has to play that part, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna go down! Yeah. It's about to fucking go down!
Unreal. Hell's in those grenade launchers. <laughs> Get eaten. I hate this guy. I hope you get eaten. Oh, he leave it on a specific page for him. That's totally something Herschel would do. Yep. I love Herschel. Yep. Yeah. Nobody. When the tools dropped, I, I left some pliers on the floor behind you. Hold out as long as you can, Milton. Oh, I just you stay. When I tried to stop it all another way. Talk and do things. Talk and do I things. I know, right? Like, you are literally wasting so much precious time right now. Hurry up. Create confusion, make a lot of noise. Oh shit. They did have something set up. That's smart. Draw them in there. Everyone's untrained. The people who are scared are going to run out immediately. <gasps> Get down here. Oh my god. This is That was tactical as hell, dude. That was smart. Should be there. Come on, get some kills. I know, this is that was terrible. We did it! We did it. Come on down. Don't oh, shoot. Drop the weapon, son. Dropped his ass. Oh, he, Herschel shook over that one. Oh my god, Herschel is shook yeah. over that one. You see how wide his eyes got? We did it. We drove him out. We should go after them. We should finish it. It is finished. Isn't no, it not it's not. How can we, go? we can't take the chance. He's not going to stop. Yeah, I'm coming along for oh. I'm doing my job out there. Just like all of you. Took out one of the gunner's soldiers. One of his soldiers? A kid running away? He stumbled across us. No, he drew on us. I'm sorry you had to do that. That's what I was there for. Uh, oh, I don't know about all that. I'm telling you. He gunned that kid down. Oh, no, you don't want to hear that. What the hell are you doing? We need to dig in. It's not working. That was a slaughter. You bunch of pussies. I told you we should have handled this shit ourselves. We're done fighting for a hole with a half dozen psychopaths living in it. They can keep it. You've seen what they've done. Attacked us. They killed my boy. We're going back. We are not soldiers. Want us to kill miners? Of course. We should be crazy. Oh, he's about to do something crazy. Bro, shoot him. 
Do it. You got the drop on him. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Oh, she is so fucking lucky, dude. Yep. Everyone's expendable. You got boys just realized that? Why would you get into the car with him after that? You're going to drop it. That was a quick change. You still told me about the boy we saw. He had a gun. He just attacked us. Yeah. Yes, he had. Why are you handing it over? I couldn't take the chance. I agree. Yeah. I fucking I agree. Yup, and he already learned that lesson. So he didn't kill Andrew. Yup. And he came back and killed Mom. A hundred percent. Yeah. You were in a room with the governor. And you let him go. And then he killed Merle. I get where he's coming from he for sure. But I know where Rick's coming from too. He doesn't want him to have to go down that path. I agree. As his as a father to a son, you're right. Yeah. But that kid would have gladly killed any of them had they met them in the prison. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're finally doing this? <laughs> I think it was literally just to get them out. Yeah. Yeah! That a girl. Yeah! Ooh, like butter. Nice. Ooh. A twofer. I know, right? That's a UAV, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Most likely she got away. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she got away. Oh! It's me, John. Yeah. Karen. Karen, are you okay? I'm fine. Where's the governor? He fired on everyone. He killed them all. We're coming. <laughs> what are you doing here? We were coming to finish this. After we saw what the governor did, Karen told us Andrea hopped the wall, going through the prison. She never made it. Oh, yeah. She might be here. That's the way they had planned it, Maggie. The governor held people here. They mourn all of them. The truth is finally revealed mm -hmm. to, like, everyone. It's about time. I'm glad those two joined the gang, though. Yep, she got him. Oh. She get bit? Oh, yep. Oh, no. Right on the fucking neck, too. Rick's like, God damn it. Oh, oh man, this gives so much more like weight to Andrea choosing to go back with the governor after the meeting between mm -hmm. him and Rick. If she had just stayed, man, gone back with us.
Oh, man, we lost a lot of people this season. No way, none of them flinched. <laughs> she would have been so loud. Oh, RIP, Andrea. No way, are they bringing everyone over? Looks like that, huh? Got a little bus. Good, now they can actually start to build this fucking place up. Mm -hmm. Love that poncho. I know, right? So they gave it to you on us. Hell yeah, they had a good little relationship before Rick tossed them out, so I'm yeah. glad that they had that little shoulder tap. Mm -hmm. That was nice. She's gone. Oh, I love this show, dude. It's so good. She's gone. Yeah. Damn. Is that the end? Oh, my God. Did we not get to see the governor get killed? Talk to me, Anthony. Talk to me, dude. Ah! Well, their plan was beautifully executed because they knew they weren't dealing with, like, soldiers or trained individuals. Right. So just to instill that fear, draw them in underground with no light, the possibility of walkers being everywhere, hearing the grunts, and then the flashbangs they were putting off was just brilliant tactics when you're completely outnumbered and outgunned. Yeah, let them come in, have their heavy artillery, you know, show their show of force with their 50 cal, mm -hmm. blow up with the grenade launcher, all the watchtowers and all that, and then when their guard is down and you get them all disoriented with the alarm, then you start picking them off. Yeah. I don't think they killed a single person <laughs> when they were leaving, but... <laughs> <laughs> Carl yeah. did. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I still stand behind that. Yeah, I get, I get where you're coming from completely, but I feel like now he's even more upset because they're taking those people in. But I get, I get both sides of that coin because he had plenty of examples of what happens when you let people go. Not and, only, but not only did he have an example of it, one of the examples killed his mom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It so, was a huge, that's always going to be in the back of his head to be very wary of people. I can understand that. Because um, not seeing the governor just go just ape shit and kill everybody. And yeah, I know why that you didn't see him back because I they most likely were like, we can't go back now. Like, how are you going to explain, like, we're the only three that came back? Sure. You know, it's going to look terrible. Plus, I don't think Martinez and the other guy would have gone along with that lie. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I just don't see that happening. I'm not sure what exactly went down with those three, but I'm, ass you know, I'm assuming we'll see him in season four. I, I guess. I, if I if at the best interest for them, they should just kill him. Because at that point, you don't yeah. know when he's going to do something crazy like that to you. The you fact know? that they even drove off with him is crazy. Yeah. So season three, we lost T-Dog. T-Dog. We lost Lori. Lori. We lost Axel. Axel. I'm not going to count the other prisoners that were other than Oscar. I'll count Oscar. Mm -hmm. We lost Oscar. I won't count the other two because they're pieces of shit. Yeah. Um, we lost Merle. We lost... Who Milton. else? Milton. He was a Milton good guy. Milton yeah. and Andrea. Damn, seven people. So seven, like, solid, good characters that we wanted to have stick around, we lost. That's a damn shame. Yeah. Season three was a heavy, heavy death season. Yeah, that was nuts, man. I wasn't like, I wonder how they're gonna bring him back. If they're ever gonna bring him back in, or like, you know what I mean? Bring who back in? The governor. Like, oh, I yeah. wonder if they're ever gonna bring him back in. Because at that point, like, what's the point of trying to do that? You know? Yeah. I saw you opening your eyes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he may or may not be around in season four. Yeah. I, if they do, I hope he just gets <laughs> murdered in the worst way ever. Oh yeah. my god. This the show won't really leave you hanging with things like that. You know. They'll end season three, of course, but lucky for us, we just get to binge and move <laughs> yeah. on. You know? uh, I remember watching this as it came out, I don't know, 2014, something like that, and you know, having to wait season to season for however long we had to wait. I think it, I think it aired in October and then paused until six months later. So it was a bitch having to wait for season four. The leaky drip. Because yeah, leaky tap exactly. <laughs> so there's like there's a lot of unsolved business with the governor that we're gonna have to explore. 
I do think it's really cool that they brought everyone from Woodbury to the prison. Because think of how many people they can have helped fortify this place now. Oh, yeah. It, it can really start to be made into a place where they can really live. Yeah. You know, you've got all hands on deck. You can have some people doing this, some people doing that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I think it's just a good thing all around. And it, it, not only that, but it helps give them back a little bit of their humanity. Mm -hmm. Building a community, having other people. You can't just be shut off in your little group of 12. Yeah. We've now learned that you're too weak with a small group you yeah. need people mm -hmm. if you don't have people other people will take them from you absolutely um yeah man it's a it's a it was a good ass season i really enjoyed mm -hmm. season three the whole prison saga was great and i really don't like that they kind of butchered andrea's character from the comic books she's supposed to be like kind of different you know and survive like, a lot longer oh really yeah um, but it is what it is. I mean, the show went their own route. I'm not mad about it. I just, I just personally think that Andrea could have been a better character than she ended up being, mm -hmm. you know, cause I do have a love hate relationship. When I love her, I really agree with her. And I think that she, of all the people in the show, she wanted to help the most, mm -hmm. but I think that she went about it in the absolute mm -hmm. dumbest way possible. And she made the worst decisions time after time. She should have gone back with our group after, I mean, why, why did she go back with the governor after their talk with Rick? He was like, get on with it he was ignoring her he kicked her out he showed her no respect i don't know man like yeah you brought up a great point there like that was just such a dumb move unless you were planning on killing him in his sleep again you know what i mean what was the point of going back there was none because then she just went and then she escaped. left yeah and then she left yeah what did she accomplish coming back and then leaving after Tyrese didn't, didn't want to let her go? I'm glad we have Tyrese and Sasha back. They're two of my solid. favorite characters from the show. They're so solid. I'm glad that their two friends that wanted to take the prison from Rick are dead. Screw them. <laughs> I think that – let's talk about Merle for a second. Hey, man. Merle made the top three for me. I, I knew it. I fucking he knew it. He made the top three for me just because, like, that was, like, the ultimate sacrifice – Yes. He was he was being pretty tactical about it, drawing in all those walkers to create confusion yes. and just start taking out dudes because he's like in his mind, which is sad. He thought he, he was a lost cause, but so he might as well go out and do something good for the the group. But uh, but it, uh, I wish he didn't think that because our group definitely would have been fine. Oh like, my god! If he turned around and took Michonne home, they'd have been Rick like, would have been impressed. If anything, he'd have been like, like, all right, thanks, man. And Michonne would have like grown to appreciate that and started to maybe have a bond with him i really am sad that merle and michael rooker will no longer be in the show yeah. because man he was just mm. such a presence amazing actor great mm. character great redemption arc i mean if you talk about an arc yeah and a story merle had a great one and i think that he's an underrated character in the walking dead i think looking back people think oh merle ugh, i hated yeah. Merle. no merle was a fucking mvp yeah and i'm gonna miss him it kind of tore me up to see Daryl oh, yeah. um, have to put him out, you know? And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was just really, really great. Oh, man, that, was, that whole season was just... It was so much, man. I yeah. didn't see a lot. I didn't see any of that coming. <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> so much happened in this season. And honestly, dude, it's just going to get crazier from here. So. I bet, I bet. Especially with more people involved and there's a democracy, I can see a lot of conflicting ideas on things the world just got a little bigger yeah absolutely so top three bottom three in honor of merle top is my number one definitely you I know agree. went out like a g um number two would be rick because he just redeemed himself with almost making like the worst decision ever with and, michonne yeah yeah and then um number three would be michonne because okay. their understanding Talking to Merle and humanizing him and understanding where he's coming from, I think she's a just amazing character Fair. in the whole in the whole group. As far as the end of season three goes, I think I gotta give the top spot to Merle too. He just had that too great of a sacrifice mm -hmm. story and redemption arc, so I gotta give it to Merle. But uh, number two is Rick, mm -hmm. and three is still Herschel. I still think Herschel. Yeah, is like I mean Herschel's close, but close. Michonne is very close too. Oh, yeah. I agree. Um, I don't think like again, like I said, I did a poll and see who the season three mvp was i should have put merle on the list but um <laughs> i didn't put glenn on the list because there's no fucking way in my mind that season three glenn was an mvp of anything he's not a bad character but he didn't do anything that made me think yeah let's go glenn other than killing the walker that merle set on him when they were trapped yeah that was badass other I'll than give him that, that yeah it was I'll badass but other than that he's kind of being a dick yeah and then he had a little redemption at the end and he asked maggie to marry him la di da great but um you know, he is 
Glenn is a fan favorite character, and I he's one of my favorites too. Yeah, he still but is. Yeah. Not in season three. No, nah, not really, so much. I really didn't enjoy him that much in season three. Um, although he did have his little redemption at the end. I think this whole season was kind of about redemption. So yeah. Rick had his little breakdown. He saw Lori, and by the end of it, he didn't Stop. see her anymore. Yeah. Um, you know, Merle had his redemption arc. Daryl left and went to be with his brother. He had his little arc. You know, yeah. he chose his loyalty to him, but at the end of the day, he realized that his true family is back at the prison. Yeah. Carl, he had a very interesting arc this season. I mean, <laughs> he went from a kid to a cold bloody killer, man. Very quickly. He lost his mom. I mean, a lot of shit went down. Um, Andrea had a great arc. She went from kind of like this naive falling for all the governor's tricks kind of deal mm -hmm. to finally seeing the light. It was just a little bit too late. Yeah. Um, Carol has an amazing arc. She's gone from this meek little mouse kind of prancing around scared of her own shadow to this confident, strong woman who can put Merle in his place but and shut But still him up. say the right things at the right moment. 100%. Yeah. Everyone brings something to the table. I'm trying to think of other characters. I mean, Herschel... Herschel had an arc from season two. He was a dumb dumb in season two, mm -hmm. and he's just 100% turned around for season three. Um, Maggie and Beth, I think they've been amazing characters. I don't think they've had really a downfall at all. I think they've just stayed true to themselves and it's yeah. been kind of awesome. Um, and yeah, I just I look forward so much to watching season four. I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, my bottom three? Yeah. It's pretty obvious. Gov. The Gov. Philip. Uh, and then his two henchmen that just were totally fine with him gunning down a bunch of innocent people. Like, yeah, fair enough. It was like... Yeah. Like, I, that was just so mind-blowing. Like, I saw the anger in his eyes, and I was like, he's not gonna be this stupid, is he? And then he just started killing them all. I was like, what an idiot. I was like, you had an easier way of manipulating people, but now, like, you just ruined all your all that hard work of manipulating and getting people together like that. It's and he, he truly is a good manipulator. Yeah. Even when they were on their way out from Woodbury to the prison, when Tyrese and Sasha said, yo, we're not doing this, he's like, he's like he you could tell he wanted to be like, oh, these motherfuckers, I'm going to kill you right now. But yeah. he had to keep, he had to save face and show that persona, so he grabbed the gun and gave it to him and said, thank you. Yeah, like, right? nah, dude. He's just such a master manipulator. But we'll see what happens with him in season four. Uh, um, the Walking Dead doesn't leave loose ends. So the only spoiler I'll give for season four is that you will see the governor again. Yeah, I had a feeling. I mean, he's just too, like, pinnacle. Like, just left such a mark in season three not to bring him back. Yeah, you don't close you, that door. You don't give us a villain like that to just have him leave forever and never see him again. I mean, Frieza just kept coming back. <laughs> <laughs> There's your anime reference for the day. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Hunter. I'm Anthony. This is Bros and Shows. Please like, comment, subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. Show your friends. Tell your mom. Tell everybody you know. Come watch The Walking Dead. And uh, we'll see you in Season 4, Episode 1. We love you. Bye-bye. Peace out. Love you. Brush your teeth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>